Anyone on Monday, August 7th, 2023, it's almost 11th of August, will be one year since they've been working on the rail trail, and they're still not done. Anyway, good morning, it's about 9, 18 a.m. on Monday, and uh, we're building this here cradle. I wonder if I have to glue these pieces down in here. Or just leave it flexible for different size locomotives. It's about five inches here. See how this deep nine fits and I just cut the styrofoam out there and measured it. These engines here have broken couplers on them. So we're trying this engine here to see if it fits. like it is. I'm not going to play around with the cab shades here. Hmm. Kind of wobbly, but at least it ain't falling over. Hmm. I don't have any wider foam. But I think that will work. Maybe I can stick this one to the long, to the fat edge. If that'll fit in there better, I need to be cut. Seems like that's better. Seems like that's better. Mr. Wade, I presume, on this bright, hot, and possibly hot day on Monday, July, uh, August the 7th. Yeah. Working on. Hot here too. What's that, Wade? It's going to be hot here too. Yeah, I know. I'm working on this cradle thing, and it seems like it's. Working out for five five inches that can yeah, fit. Because you're laying the locomotive on the side or on his roof? Uh, on his on roof, but it's upside down so you can work with the couplers. And it seems like it's holding. Okay. It seems like it's holding okay with the five inches, which isn't messing around with the roof, which is good. And now I'm going to try the G15. I didn't glue anything, I just cut the made the pieces fit in this box that, it's an Atherin box that came with the Jeep 9, but I'm making a cradle that I can fit in the box. That's good. I think you're good. <laughs> so it's working because... I have to cut the size for the Jeep 9 bef because the Jeep Jeep uh, 15 is a little bit longer on the hood uh -huh. so I have to get it where they both accommodate both locomotives. That's fine, it can rock back and forth a little bit while you're working on the locomotive. You know, it'll lean to one side or the other, but that's okay. Right on Wade, but this seems like it's working. I don't really, I don't really need to glue the sides down because it's right. pretty much holding. I thought I would have to glue the uh, the styrofoam together, but I don't think I need to. I think it's working just great without gluing anything. But well, that's good. Just keep the pieces together so you have them when you need to set it up. Right. But it's working, Wade. Yeah. And possibly I can stick this in to work on the top or paint the cab shades or something. I could even do that to work on top of the engine. Uh -huh. So that's good that I did that this morning. I got up about a quarter to nine. So it looks like we got the cradle built for the repairs, but 
I think that's good, Wade. That I finally measured stuff and cut out to make things fit. <laughs> So, yeah, it can accommodate the Jeep 9 and the 15. And it doesn't play it doesn't play around with the, with the cab shades or the horn or the or the whistle or the yeah, the horn. It doesn't mess around with the cab shades either. Uh-oh. I got a broken cab shade on the Jeep 9. I don't know how that happened, but now I got to drill a hole for that. I got a broken cab shade on the Jeep. Oh, sorry to hear that. I know, I have to repair that now. It was already bent anyway, Wade. So I, just, I only need to replace one, right? Yeah. Uh, I break everything. What else did I break? Uh, I broke the hand railing. Part of the hand railing is busted. Uh oh. I'm not it's doing. Hard to repair because those don't glue. But no more glues. There's one railing broken off. But I don't think it. I don't think it was the, I don't think it was the, uh, I think it was me mucking around with it, trying to dig, get it in there. I should have put it in there then, 